All right, guys, what's up? Back from week off last week, but here we are with another week. What we're going to do this week is we're going to fire another round of ESPN-style highlights for MIC, what happened with the week, what the members are doing, what Alex did. Alex had a pretty good week, man. Monday, 4,100. Tuesday, 5,400. Minus 3,000 on Wednesday. Uh, he had some technical difficulties with everything, posting charts on Thursday, but dude, $6,800 uh, today, which I'm filming this on and recording this on Friday, which is the, the 7th of October. So really quick, guys, before I actually start this out, I always just want to make sure that you guys have all of the information, this beautiful face giving you my contact number. No, I'm just kidding. But this is me in front of my setup, guys. 213-458-5997. So if you have any questions about joining MIC, maybe you like this video or you just want to talk more and, you know, see if this community is for you, then, dude, send me a text, you know, book a call on the website. But I'll show you guys that a little bit later. So we're coming in Monday the 3rd, uh, this Monday, October 3rd, and full on watch this, guys. You know, fingers up, sobers up, finger was a play this week, uh, kind of the whole week. You have F FXLV, Kala. I don't want to go through every single one for the sake of time, but Alex totally full send it a nice 4K on actually almost, yeah, $4,100. And here's what he did, you know, with an annotated chart. I'm actually going to pull up the chart for you guys as we're already on it, finger. And then when I pull up a chart, guys, the thing that you have to look for right here is the date. So just follow along, right? Like this is a day, this is a day, this is a day. So we're going to actually go to Monday the 3rd. And, you know, this thing was up. This thing was up. And Alex did exactly what process is. Guys, we get a parabolic move all the way up. He waits for this parabolic to die down with either one of two options at MIC. A death candle or a major top. So what he did was we get that. Obviously, he's using a one-minute chart, so it's a little different as I use a three. But we get this stuff. It stuffs again right after. So you guys are seeing this stuff again. And then Alex starts in right there. Stuff, lower high rejection. You know, uh, hits a little bit of a chase right here, in my opinion. But, uh, dude, just kills it. And, you know, hits a little bit on these pops. Covers near VWAP when it gets down here. And it's just a beautiful trade. So these are backside entries, guys, on kind of a you know, a price discovery move, right? So like if I go back, like you have to understand, you got to let this thing breathe a little bit. Pre-markets, higher low, higher low, higher low, parabolic, parabolic, even more parabolic. Wait for this bastard to find a top. Wait for the sentiment to shift. And that's exactly what he did. So really clean chart there, $4,100 for the day. And then if I go to the member charts, so like we'll showcase some members every single week. The members crushed it. The members absolutely crushed it. PO coming in, CSCW only trade today. As you can see, he's using outer lines. I love that. Um, ADM coming in for a nail and bail. This is exactly what you guys need to be doing. This is MIC process. Hits the outer lines um, of something that, you know, the resistance points, guys, especially when you're playing pre-market levels, are usually, you, you need to wait for these. I, I, I call it like this. It's micro contrarian versus macro follow trend, right? So in stocks, like the thing that you want to do is you want to follow trend, even in small caps, but you can't be chasing. You can't be hitting down here just because you think it's going to get weaker. You need to wait for these pops into these outer lines, these outer levels that you see and let that volume pick it up and bring it into there. And this is what's called a macro, you know, broken chart, but the micro, you're being a contrarian in the micro. So you're letting this bastard just kind of like, okay, you know, if this is a short, let me wait for the pops. Let me, let me wait for a good entry. And that's what we talk about. So you don't want to be a contrarian in the macro. You want to be a contrarian in the micro of the bigger picture of the macro doing exactly what you want it to be doing overall. And that's what the members are doing. That's what we teach them weekly. David coming in with, you know, a nice long and a dip. This is exactly right. You know, finger again, man, again, wait for a very strong stock, wait for the dip on that strong stock. And that's where we get these first bounces or just really nice support catches. Um, Rockmon, he's like, he's like, oh my God, dude, I love these trades where you just get paid immediately. And that's exactly what happened on BEAT for him. Wolf doing exactly what he does, scale every single week correctly, outer lines. Um, he's never really forcing it. He's always complaining about his exits, which I love because... It's all about entries, guys, and you can have a little bit of sloppy exits if your entries are phenomenal because it's always, always, always about risk management and paying yourself. So if you find yourself actually <laughs> literally complaining about your exits, that's actually a good problem to have, trust me. 
Uh, let's see, what else have we got? We got Diego doing it, WLDS as well, waiting for those outer lines, guys, based on, the, on these levels from previous. That's MIC process. Nail and bail, make the money. I'm sure he felt like that was a pike right there, but let me tell you something. Again, you better not be complaining about piking if your entries are phenomenal. That's the name of the game. Weaver crushing, as always, just learning how to scale better and better every single week. Soy Sauce always tracking his trades, posting his P&L. $2,200 for the day. Congrats, Soy Sauce. Split letter, SNTI, outer lines. Absolutely perfect use case of uh, lines and specifically outer lines. You know, Tuesday, guys, we have a full on watch list again. Uh, but just for the sake of time, I won't go through every single one. Alex comes in with a banger, 5,400. Today started off pre-market looking like a difficult day. Every now and then it looks like a difficult day. The best thing I did was I waited for the tops to form, guys, just like he did on finger. You wait for these things to happen and then you start in. So I waited for the tops to form on stocks, waiting for sympathy pumps like KPRX and RMED to short on bounces. Also caught finger bounce for an instant, uh, 80 cents a share, patience paid today. 54, almost 5,500 bucks. Let's take a look. So this is, you know, this is finger in the next day, guys. So this was the first day. Now we're going into the fourth. You can see right here, we're coming in the fourth. This is the low, you know, quote unquote, low hanging fruit day. Alex does exactly that. He rides trend and follow through down. I mean, it's so self-explanatory. Again, 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 you know, this is waiting for that pop. He's waiting for this pop on a macro broken chart. This is the macro guys. It's broken. It's far from highs. It's a downtrend or it's a day two. Alex waits for the pop to hit the micro contrarian on a macro level. This is absolutely key. So I love that. I love that. Alex did a really good job on that. He, you know, you wait for these tops, you wait for backside, you wait for the day two, and then you follow trend down, but you wait for a good entry. I cannot make that more clear. Uh, KPRX also very self-explanatory. We'll just pull that up really quick. Uh, KPRX. If I pulled up every single member's charts, guys, we would be here for three hours. So I got to make this kind of quick, but exactly, exactly, exactly process, right? We're on the fourth, uh, which is right here. You guys can see us the first day it runs, it gets smoked. What do you do? Day two, low hanging fruit into the pop in the outer lines. That's exactly what Alex did. Cover quickly for nice nail and bail. That's how you make the easy money. Um, let's pull up the member charts. Let's see what the members did. Uh, you know, LMAC, finger, following the watches, exactly what Alex did. Phenomenal job. The Jester on Sober, waiting for, <laughs> dude, you guys are so MIC process. It's getting laughable. It's actually getting, like, laughable at how good and how mastery the members are getting and all of the charts are starting to look like the mentors and the moderators because guys like we teach you what works so how cool is this you know ad coming in sober as well waiting for the pops awesome job outer lines kai awesome awesome job um let's see you know angel coming in uh, your commentary alex your commentary kept me from doing something stupid on finger you know this is why you guys pay us to educate you every single day not only educate you but to keep you safe and to show you what your edge is. Guys, that's what this watch list is doing every single week, is you are not coming into the day blind. We are serving it on a silver platter, and guys like Angel R are following the exact plan of attack and making money. I love it. Uh, Ryan Conley doing exactly what he does best, man. He hits a strong stock on a dip, catches that dip, sells into the jump, the rip, whatever you want to call it, the parabolic guys, and this is a great bounce area that he got into sniper entries. Um, another one, another one, just catching these longs, man, catching these longs. Uh, I came across the best investing advice I had ever seen, so I posted it. It's Warren Buffett basically being, be sus when everyone is bussing and be bussing when everyone is sus. <laughs> That's just the best advice I've ever seen. Um, every now and then, guys, we have a member who annotates Alex's chart. Well, actually, the chart of a stock with Alex's chart and then all of the commentary timestamped on when he did it. So this is the type of mentorship you can do in backtest later in MIC. You could be like, all right, Alex made 5,400. His commentary was there. His chart looks like this. Let me bottle it all together and really, really see how he does what he does. We are always looking for new forms of education for you guys to get better. Uh, you know, Travers, uh, Travers always posts so many charts, so it's kind of hard to see. So every now and then when he singles it out, I'll post it. But Travers is just catching those bounces, man. He is so good at what he does. Morning bounce, later day bounce, you know, 3 p.m. rule, things like that. Uh, and, and look, there's no coincidence. He loves volume. You know, the volume's coming in. He's getting it. 
uh, soy sauce again, 2200. What do you, what do you have? 2100 on my, this guy's crushing. This member is crushing. Michael Davis crushing 4,700 bucks. Absolutely phenomenal guys. Uh, Wednesday comes around. We do the new member orientation webinar. Here's the watch list for the day. Kit SNTI ATXI finger peg fingers. You know, it's in play all week guys. Um, Peggy tops S H P H. Alex actually takes a small cut today. So on Wednesday, he takes almost a $3,000 cut. We'll just say 3000 Losing day for me, got chopped up on everything. Asked him after an awesome day yesterday at 5400 I came in today too excited and got stuck in a bunch of stocks too early. Thankfully, walked away at zombie hours before, losses, before the losses ballooned even higher. So new day tomorrow, and he crushed it the next day. I just, obviously, that he didn't post them because he had technical difficulties. But dude, this is the point, guys, is when you lose... Alex is, win Alex is winning 4,100, 5,400, you know, 18,000, 700,000 over days. And when he loses, okay, he gets nicked. 2,000, 3,000, maybe $4,000. This is all about keeping your losses small and making sure that you do what's appropriate. And, and honestly, this is Alex being a little early. This is not him waiting for the finger parabolic, the top, and then the top again, and then the stuff and hitting backside. He was over eager, and this is exactly what he's talking about. So you guys can see this um, progression of emotion, right? And you guys can see when he does. But then he pulls up SH, SHPH, and he does exactly what he did. You know, broken macro. He brings up, you know, the micro contrarian, waits for the pop, great entry. He does what he's supposed to do. In. But here's what happens, guys. This is what overeager looks like. Alex said it himself, straight from the horse's mouth. So, you know, if you guys can just wait for this stuff, then you are going to be so much more consistent and so much more profitable. Now, Alex already knows all this, but for you guys learning this lesson weekly. So we come in Wednesday. You know, guys, I could literally, and I'm not even bullshitting you, I could bring up and save a hundred member charts, but again, for the sake of time and like a highlight reel, I do want the ones that are very clean cut, very clear, um, usually a solo chart and then something we can learn from or something that's really cool, like a stop out uh, that's actually really mitigated and good uh, because that's process as well when we win and when we lose, but LMAX coming in uh, on FNGR finger and just doing exactly what out, you know, just great work, man. Great work. Waiting for the pops. Make trades. Horrible exits for me. I got to run. Got a meeting this morning. But still, if you're making money and you're piking, you're still making money, baby. Um, Ryan, awesome, awesome job right here. This is a loss, believe it or not. But guess what he did? He cut it immediately when he was wrong. You are not going to win all the time. And I cannot highlight this more better than a really good win, guys. This is exactly what you should be doing. When we lose, you better cut it. So, again, right here, you know, Elmac coming on a finger. Killed it in the morning. Reshorted and had to stop out. And I know he did it at an appropriate level. So this is what process is is you ride out trend when you're right, you ride out winners, you do the best you can, you wait for good entries. When you lose, you are prepared to cut the loss. So this is what members are doing so well. Sunday Trades coming in with an awesome scoop on that. Um, the Pathmakers, man, that is so sexy. Just wonderful job on Kit. Um, let's see, you know, Split Layer doing a fantastic job from pre-market into the open. Just really, really nice work. Follow, just nice follow through, man. I love it. Uh, Wolf, again, he's just a monster at scales. I love it. The first one was actually a long, and then the second one, I think right here he came in and he's like, you know what? The momentum's going to shift. The sentiment's going to turn. Let's actually start shorting this thing, and that's what he did. Soy sauce, or uh, not soy sauce, OGT coming in for $220. The reason why I wanted to showcase this, guys, is look, soy sauce made what? Okay, 1K, and that's a small day for him. Okay, he makes, you know, 2,000 Monday, he makes 2,000 Tuesday, makes 1,000 on Wednesday, he's upwards of four to six to seven, whatever he's at for the week. I want to still showcase the guys that are learning this or not going crazy with size. Maybe they just supplement income until they can full on replace it. But this is a serious win, guys. Everybody's risk tolerance, everybody's size, everybody's numbers are very relative. And you have to remember that. So someone like OGT or someone who's new to trading or someone who plays a lot smaller size coming in with a, you know, I just want to make a couple hundred bucks a day doing that. That is still life changing money. So awesome, awesome job. I will never hate on someone pulling in uh, $200 a day. That's fantastic. This was the watch list for uh, Thursday, which was yesterday. I'm going to pull up some member charts. As like I said, Alex, unfortunately had some technical uh, issues with his, um, 
with his computer and screen, everything. He just he just had a little uh, bit of a rough time technologi technologically speaking yesterday. But Weaver comes in, scales absolutely perfect on W key, guys. David, what a perfect cut. This These are the things I cannot showcase enough. I actually wanted to showcase a lot of losses this, this video, guys, from members who are keeping it clean, keeping it clear, keeping it concise. And look at how beautiful this is. Look at this, man. He stops out and saves himself like what looks like a dollar of upside. Like, think about how much more he could have lost if he got stubborn. You get in, plan doesn't work. It's the one out of 10 trades doesn't. You cut it, you move on, you lick your wounds, you come back tomorrow stronger or the next trade if it fits your criteria. PO, awesome scales. Uh, you know, Wolf doing exactly what he does. He's just so good, man. Peggy, awesome job. Uh, Nate, I can't pronounce that last name. That looks like Swarovski, you know, that little crystal star. But, but Nate S., Coming in, nice follow through, awesome job on Peggy as well. You can see that the members, we're like hyenas, man. MIC is like a group of wild hyenas in the Sahara Desert or the Serengeti, wherever they are. And dude, we we see prey, we wait for the opportunity, and then we all go after the same stock with the same edge and we make money. This is what it's about. Ryan Conley coming in with SNTI on the longs. I love that. Great job. We, we are not just short sellers at MIC, so we showcase everything. Jester, cut number one, cut number two, cut number three. Guess what? All mitigated, all proper. It's a red day with him. It's not a big deal. He knows how to lick his wounds. He's going to come back tomorrow. He's a great trader. But guess what? This is what happens. Sometimes you lose, and sometimes you have to cut, and then sometimes you got to cut again. But look how controlled this is. That's process and losses. Uh, Diego coming in, awesome freaking job for the morning. Crushed it, you know, midday and end of day as well. Soy sauce, another eight hundred dollar day. He's crushing. He's up to like what six k if I did that correctly for the week. Um, today, guys, Friday the seventh, October. Alex, this was the full watch list. Very detailed. This is what you're looking for. This is what we're doing. Alex finishes the week super strong. Almost $7,000 coming in at basically $6,800. Uh, he was actually, he should have put $6,800. <laughs> and especially with the rebates, I know it's going to be like over seven. But I shorted the morning balance on 80TX, but ended up getting out once it started to trade choppy. Lucy shorted the balance as well. This was a lot tougher to trade, but my plan was to get out at zombie times, which is 1030 and on Eastern Standard Time guys obviously and we got a nice flush walking away if you, before i get into trouble 6800 bucks let's take a look um if you guys want me to pull up the chart again i can adtx you know obviously that's today and alex did a very nice use case of the channel lines use the channel you scale correctly guys so you you guys can see the full chart right here as well um let's take a look at his lucy chart which he was scaling and uh yeah hold on one second is that crazy, guys? Is that nuts? Look at the drop on Lucy. That's crazy, right? I know we talk about death count. We talk about offering. We talk about T12. We talk about anything that'll bring a stock down, but that is about as sexy as anything gets. So, you know, this is uh, this is giving Alex a really nice day. So you can see that he was just using these levels, guys. Resistance, 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 resist. Like when you know where the resistances are and you draw these lines, which makes it seem so easy because it can be or a, at least simple, like it's not an easy career, you know the line, sometimes you still hesitate, but this is a simple career once you learn process, once you learn lines, learn how to scale, and know that these are all resistance points that should hit and fail, come to the end of the day, uh, we just get an absolute smoke show of a tank, uh, bringing Alex 6,800 bucks, that was awesome, and then members did as well, you know a wonderful job as well. But let's, let's go through a couple. So Christian coming in, awesome job on finger, morning, wrap up, zombie time's coming, I'm done, love it, that's process. Irvin doing a wonderful job of shorting in the morning, again, same, zombie hours coming, wrap up, I'm done, make my money, nail and bail, I'm out. Split letter coming in on NVIV, great job, scaling correctly. Travers doing exactly what he does best, he catches these dips, he sells these rips, these jumps, these pushes, he pays himself the whole way up and that's what I'm most proud about this kid, he's just phenomenal. Um, he's really becoming a beast, man. Make trades, awesome job at scales, outer lines. Let's see, who else? Ryan Conley, doing what he does best, catching those dips, selling the pops, love it. 
Diego, great job on GGE, scaling correctly, scaling out phenomenally. Look at how beautiful this scale out is. Paying himself, paying himself, paying himself, and then really making sure he's paying himself. Just in case this thing does, you know, rip back upwards, guys. So, um, soy sauce, what is, what's soy sauce up to? Like a $9,000 a week? And this is just one of like 2,000 members, guys, that's consistent, profitable, where MIC, I, I, I would think, changed his life, and he's just doing just a phenomenal job so you know that was kind of the week guys it was a wonderful week i actually want to pull up a couple things to show you some resources so we're having a lot of fun you know this friday night we're talking about tom one of our moderators in trash you know james is always on him and, and bow saying is rich trash though 1800 balenciaga that's hysterical man so when you come into mic guys the things that i got to make clear are it's it's very clear cut guys look we have a watch list channel every single day where you're getting your watch list. We have a main trading channel where you have live commentary. Uh, soy sauce, but everybody's posting, keeping each other safe, posting edge. Talk, it's live commentary. It's live coaching. It's live mentorship, as you guys can see. Endless options, endless fun. Large cap and options, we have this big cap room. So if you are not a small cap short seller, we have all this for you guys. Again, it's the same as the main trading chat, which is small cap oriented, but for big caps. After hours where the fun doesn't stop. This is literally where we talk, we network, we joke. We talk about Canadian house, trailer park house for 2.2 mil. Like what the hell? Uh, the world's kind of chaotic right now. Bow's showing himself, eating some in and out. Whatever it is, it's fun, right? Steven's traveling the world, what a shock. This is our travel guy. Uh, it's just a really, really, really good time. And then let me actually pull up the website for you guys real quick. So let me go to myinvestingclub.com. As you guys can see, we have a full-blown website, but the thing that I need you to pay attention to, guys, is two things. Free trading course, take advantage of this. Uh, two things, two things. It's forms of communication. So if you have immediate questions getting in at MIC, guys, I'm your guy. I'm, I'm the guy in charge of getting people in, answering your questions, making sure that you have a confident choice in us. I do not want you stumbling on your confidence. I want you to make sure that this community is right for you. I don't want you a deer in the headlights. I will answer or every question that you have and you can text immediately if you have immediate questions and I'll get to them as soon as possible or you can click this button right here and it's going to take you to an order form where you fill out all your information this is going to go directly to my Google calendar where we can book a professional call and uh and I'll help you guys and we'll actually literally get on the phone so then there's that and then I think the last thing is we do tradition every single week is let me uh let me find my, where's that calculator of mine? Uh, do, 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 am I totally blind? Ah, there it is. All right, guys, this is totally tradition, right? So we'll just ballpark. So what, 4,100 plus, I could probably just do this in my head, but <laughs> uh, minus 3,000, but I'll do it for the showcase of this, uh, this webinar. Uh, 6,800. Dude, Alex makes almost... 13,500 this week and after rebates you know it's upwards of 15 grand so guys depending on how you look at after all fees commission saved money is going to get back this is this is a 13 thousand to fifteen thousand dollar week very very clean cut very clear any lost any loss one day this week so and i don't even have the pnl from yesterday so it could be 20 it could be 25 it could be 30 but alex is crushing it as always and this is your main mentor at mic creating the daily watch list in the morning talking about the live commentary along with bow making sure you guys get weekly webinars and you guys are tuned in to what we do and then i'm here to highlight it all and show you guys in a really clear-cut fashion on everything that you're missing by not being a member and what the members are benefiting from actually becoming a member so guys last thing absolute last thing i'll open this up one more time the first five people that text me i'll give you a secret code uh text me quote quotes quotations put in quotes alex pnl 13,000 and I'm going to give you guys a special deal. So the first five people that, that actually text me are either going to get a special deal if that's what you're looking for or a mentorship call. And we'll do both at the end. So guys hit me up. I'd love to get you an MIC. I think you'll love it yourselves and we will see you next week for another ESPN MIC highlight reel. Catch you later guys.